Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's a privilege to talk to you guys again. Thank you for always giving me a listening ear. I want to use this opportunity to thank my subscribers. You know, you have been a, an encouragement. You know, for me, because by the time I see the counts go up, I'm encouraged. You know, and to do more. So, but today. I want to share the word of God with us and it's very very vital that you stay to the end it's very very vital that you listen to me okay I might not be a public figure that you know I might not be your pastor all right but I'm going to be speaking from the Bible the Bible is also recognized by anyone all right so just give me your time for some time maybe 10 minutes let's discuss about this is a very crucial and important matter i want to deal with so it's good that you study the bible yourself and you know what in everything give thanks and every disappointment is a blessing actually this period of isolation and quarantine we have not we've never studied or known the bible the way we did or the way we are doing right now we all always know about the book of Revelation. in fact we don't normally go there but maybe god wants to use this opportunity to remind us to go there you know to see what he has written there because the time is almost coming to an end for god to show face for god to, sh to sh show show up all right he has been the devil has been taking charge and running this world but I think it's time that God take over and he doesn't want to take his children on our ways. Alright, so I think that's why he made us to study more on the word. You know, many people, you must have heard what I'm about to say, yes. Because many preachers are out there talking about it in, in their own understanding through the word of God. Alright, through the Holy Spirit, which is what I'm going to do today also. I'm in my house, all right, and I watch men of God. I listen to them. I have a pastor that I listen to also. And when I'm done, I, I, I go to my Bible. But to tell you the truth, please do not receive the vaccine. Please, I'm begging you, do not receive the vaccine. I love you so much, and God loves you so much. The advice that a brother or a mother can give to a son or a sister or a brother is what I'm giving you right now. It's written in the Bible. If you follow the whole thing, even I saw a video of a man that constructed a we created this vaccine over 20 years ago. And then he said he was not in Christ. He didn't even know what the vas uh, the sorry, the, not the vaccine, sorry, the chip. The man, I watched the video. The man created the chip with the other teams, all right, not just only him. Over 20 years ago, my dear, that was when the chip was created. Bundles of engineers, a little thing like a grain of rice. The man spoke about the beauties of the chip. You cannot lose your forehead or your hand easily, just like we can lose our credit cards i will forget it at home you cannot forget your 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 forehead or your hand so it has a lot of advantages but there's something they are not telling us they want to use it for one world government for one world order and these things are not supposed to happen now they're supposed to take place when the rapture of the church has happened but devil always in his own way of coming before his time. Look at when he wanted to arrest Jesus. Jesus escaped because it's not yet his time to die. He always tried to go ahead of his time. You know, ahead in Sweden, as so many people are taking it already. Even in the US, some people are taking it. They, 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 they didn't do it compulsory, but volunteer. People, you are taking it because you don't know the implications. You don't know the Bible. The Bible said that my people perish because of lack of knowledge. Why will you perish because of lack of knowledge? Because you did not study your word, the word of God. You are perished. You didn't know what it is to perish. It's not just to die. It's the second death that we are talking about. It's the second death which is thrown in, being thrown into the lake of fire with the devil. 
the vaccine is not just about the vaccine it's not about the health how can somebody that his aim is to bring the world population down giving you vaccine to live is it not contradictory the vaccine has a microchip all of us have been hearing about these things but i know i'm not the first person to say it. it's not the first time you're hearing it but i have to say it over and over i said why are the world not saying this why is everybody not saying it why is it that it's some few people that are saying it is it that we are doubting it or what look at what the bible said in revelation 14 verse from verse 9 and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive the mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire. The person shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the Holy One, holy angels and in the presence of the lamb and the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever and they shall have no rest day or night who worship the beast and his image and whoever received the mark of his name remember there are, there are two groups people that worship him and people that receive the mark so you might not worship the devil but you will ignorantly receive the vaccine that has the chip which is the mark the Bible said it to be in the forehead or in your hand. The man, the, the man that was talking about how they created it, they said, he said it's either in the head or in the right hand. He said well, he wasn't a Christian then, but when he read the Bible in Revelation, he said, oh God, what have I done? Because he said then they told them hey, they're going to be using that to, you know, capture some illegal drug pushers and all that. So he thought it's a good advantage that they create that. And they were given a huge amount of money. Right now, a lot of things are happening. Even in Nigeria, so many people are being given money to declare they, have, they are COVID-19 positive. Yes, they are, receiving, they are receiving text messages that if they do so, they will. I saw, I saw another one on Facebook. The guy said they were in the hospital. They already claimed that they are positive. So they are waiting for their money. And what happened when the money didn't come? They have to protest and the whole city went on protest. So what is the world turning into? What, how, the, the, what, what are they telling us? Are they, talking, are they telling us lies or truth? But what the Bible said, the word of God is the only truth in this whole world. A man can only give you something if, if he sees perspective in you. If, he, if you have an oil in your yard, someone will come and buy the yard, no matter how, the amount without your knowing it maybe you don't know you have oil and someone this, this, someone noticed that you have oil instead of coming to tell you so that you benefit from what you have mm -mm. what he's gonna do is gonna use maybe they sell land 200 million he, he will offer you through 200 billion you will say ah this man is nice no he isn't he's not there's something he's looking for that you don't know so I'm pleading you brothers and sisters, do not take the mark. Do not take the mark. Do not take the mark. Do not take the vaccine. There are cures everywhere right now, even in Africa and Nigeria. All the herbal medicines we have, it cannot stay in our body. This our Yoruba tribe in Nigeria, the herbal they take every morning, it will not allow that thing to stay. The, the 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 what do you call it the numbers they are writing in nigeria of deaths and of confirmed cases we are not seeing any of them if they are they should tell us so that we can even be careful even so so if they saw uh, covid 19 or they tested positive in a particular community they should let those people know and in that community they should break down to the family they should break it down to the streets so that we can avoid those people but they are not doing so. How are we going to take measures? I'm not saying that COVID-19 is for real. It is real. It is real. But the virus, we can deal with it without taking any vaccine. We don't have cure to it. According to the CDC, uh, what do you call it? NDC, NCDC. But there are herbal medicines that are 
shouting on top of their voices that their medicine can heal this but who is not taking that you're not giving us solution and somebody else is bringing solution and you are rejecting it don't you have the right to ask for the solution are you now our god the mother's madagascar cure they've already brought cure and their confirmed cases are less they don't even have more confirmed cases than every other but you you say that their own is local you don't have any but you are saying that someone that has is local can we test it can we try it let's try it we have a cure why are we going for vaccine please i want you to reason with me it's not that i'm trying to wash your brain i'm trying to use the word of god to 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 reset our thinking we are we are all humans all those guys you are seen as experts and professionals is same god that made you that made them can we think with our senses can we think with our brain that god has given to us how can you protest how can you uh, uh, predict and say many will die many will die there will be street in the whole there will be corpses in the whole streets why would you say that even god don't do that even god cannot come and say they why are humans wicked? Why will you say that? Because of your ordinary human prediction? And why start predicting that the bodies of Africans will be on the street? You are not providing solution. The solution you are providing is, is contradictory. The solution you are providing is, is, is not transparent. It's not, it's not comforting. It's not calming. It's not inspiring. So why should I go for it? The microchip is going to help you, yes, to recognize you, to, to help you, you know, doc if you forget your documents and all, it will be easy, life will be easy, yes, but there's something that made God say, if you receive it, you are condemned already. The devil wants to create his own human. By the time you take that, the, the, whoever that is controlling that data of that microchip can use you anyhow he or she wants so if it's an agent of the devil which is because god cannot control you i'm saying how can the end is the ncdc bill in nigeria that is now pending before they wanted to impose it on us and we started the christians started praying some people might say yes it's not your prayer what god said will be worthy i don't want to argue with you because the Bible said that evil prevails if the good man refuses to pray. We set in to pray and fast. Even before the bill came to impose on us, people started talking. People started seeing reasons why it shouldn't be like that. And some, 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 some terrible things they wrote in the bill that they can, they can, any way they see a COVID-19 patient, they can come there and declare that place an isolation center. So let me let me say in my house, in my home with my kids, and someone will come in now, and they say that the government, the police can even come and search my house without any warrant. This is part of the bill that is coming with the vaccine. Can you imagine that? They will search my house without any warrant, and the testing kits are not even. I we have to even check out on the testing kits. To me and to some people, it's not 100% correct. In Tanzania, thank God for their president. They have to take secretly, tell them that they want to bring a test, a blood or sample from two people. And they went and brought sample from Popo and, um, what is it called? Popo and one other thing like that. They, and goats, Abi. They brought it and labeled it as if they are humans. And they tested positive. What are they telling us? What have they told those guys, our health practitioners? What have they told them? And they are, and they are doing it. There's another one on Facebook. As someone, a child had an in injury. The baby, the baby fell and broke his head. So they went to the hospital to treat him. And on giving the woman the receipt, there's a COVID-19 COVID written on top of the... the the receipt. The woman did not see that time. It's when they got home that he noticed that ah, COVID-19, my baby just broke her, his head. Is this COVID-19? And we were not even treated. He was not treated of COVID-19. How come his receipt was written COVID-19? Are they just forging figures? 
What is really happening? And you're bringing vaccine for who? Who wants? Nobody wants your vaccine. We don't want. We have cure. And whether you like it or not, we are we are taking care of ourselves. We are staying safe. We are staying home, and we are taking. We are taking care of ourselves. With God, all things are possible. We are not going to die. No matter the plans of the, the evil one, we will not die. It will not even affect us in any way, not, a, not, a, not talk about dying. But I'm here to tell ourselves, wherever you are all around the world, my video might come to your face. Don't say, who, are, who is this girl? What is she talking about? What does she know? Please don't do that. The Bible said at the end time, even gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ will be Preach from children, from sucklings. It's not that ma mighty man of God that you know that will tell you. They will tell you. There are other people that you don't know like me talking to you. Do not take the, 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 do not take the mark. Do not take the vaccine. You might say the vaccine will help me. Or you might say the, the vaccine is, if somebody wants to help you and you're running away from it. No it is not transparent and from what the Bible said is exactly what it is. It is the mark of the beast. It is 666. 666 is beyond the numbers. 666 is a name. And that man that said he was among the team that created that microchip defined that 666. is not 6 like num it's number 6. No, it's not. So the things in the Bible are not ordinary. It's not something you will read with your with your normal mind. You have you need the you need the the senders the, the sending wisdom of God to understand what is is being written. We need to we not we don't take the vaccine. Do not take the vaccine. Do not take the vaccine. It's not supposed to. The devil can do that during the rule of Antichrist, which will last for seven days, seven years. But that will be after the children of God has raptured. Then they can do all those things. They will say you will not get a job if you don't have it. You will not travel if you don't have it. That's what is supposed to. What they are saying. Even now they've implemented it in some places. Telling you the advantages and not telling you disadvantages. Not just like a marketer will sell his goods. A marketer will never mention the disadvantage of the goods. The people that are having plastic surgery, they will never tell you disadvantages and the, the, the implications that will follow after you are done. They will just tell you the beauties that are there. I'm begging again, please do not take the mark of the beast, the vaccine, do not take it. We have cures already for it. You can even pray and God will protect you and then stay safe from anybody that you, 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 ex, you expect, um, you suspect that has been with a contacted person. You know, do as much measures as you can, you know, and try to be safe. Try to take something that will boost your immune system because the virus is not as strong as we think. It's not too strong. Our body is meant to fight anything that doesn't support the growth and the health of the body. The immune system is good enough to fight that virus. And it stays longer in the truth before going down. And it, it, when it gets to the, to the stomach, the, the, you can imagine the acidity of the stomach kills it. So drink more of water. Drink plenty of water. There's no side effect in taking a lot of water. Why not take care of yourself? Before, before God has given us wisdom. God has given us in, in, intellect on how to deal with things. You know, is, somebody can come and, and sell his products to you. It's left for you to take it or not to take it. Yes. Thank God that we are praying and we are still fasting that many children of God and every other person in the world, their eyes will open to know the facts behind this vaccine, to know the facts behind this coronavirus. Even my nephew brought my attention to it. He said, Auntie, this uh, shape of HIV looks like coronavirus shape. I said, it's true. It, virus is manufactured. Let's 
Forget about how it was manufactured or created. Let's forget about it. God will judge all those men about it. God will judge whoever that is involved. God will judge every negativity that, co- that came with coronavirus. The people that died on, 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 on because of COVID-19 or out of COVID-19, their blood are in their head. If someone is responsible, the person must surely pay for it. The person must surely pay for it. There are agents of darkness everywhere, just like there are angels everywhere. So people must, of course, speak good things about it, even when it's bad. Yes, the Bible said that, see, money, money is the root, the love of money is the root of all evil. Someone can do a whole lot of hell because of the love he has for money. Money that you cannot even finish in this world. Yes, some people's money will be in the bank when this world will collapse. Some people's money will be will be hiding in their rooms when this world will collapse. Their properties in this whole world will be there and collapse together. So it's time we use what we have to the glory of God. It's time you feed the poor around you. Let your life what a meaning, a living. Let people be happy because of you. Even if you don't give money, you can give advice. You can preach. You can say the truth when you see one. Don't hide it because you are given money. How much? Is it worth your life? Is it worth the lives of those people dying? The Bible said every man will be judged according to what she or he has done. All the evil and atrocities that men are doing, they will be judged. And whosoever name that is not found in the book of life shall be thrown into the lake of fire where the devil is. So you can, because of the little sin, the little sin, the little bribe they gave you, and you, you gave a figure that is wrong, only that thing that you did, you will be among the people that did the main thing. You will be in the same place with them. So why not choose to live your, your life. Why not choose to live the life, good life that God has called you and receive a word when Jesus comes. He's going to come and he's coming back again. He's coming for us. So many things are killing people and we're not talking about it. Men are dying. Children die in Africa. There are a lot of children that die out of hunger in Africa. And we're talking about a vaccine. Can we use that money to feed the nation all the loots acquired from so many uh, corrupt uh, presidents and all the money that you think you want to finance this vaccine, can you use it and feed people at least? Let them, let them, even when they eat very well, their immune system is boosted. It can fight any virus. I think I need to stop here. I don't know how many people will be, will feel bad about what I've said or people that will be confused or people that will give me a thumbs up but the truth must be said and the truth hurts it's not sweet in the ear okay so thank you so much for staying tuned with me all right and thank you for adhering to the truth today thank you so much see you in my next video please subscribe to my channel all right so that i hit the notification button so that you'll be notified of every new video that i release all right every week Thank you for staying tuned and listening to me. God bless you. Bye.